Today we're diving into a real-world scenario, managing an unexpected difficult airway in a patient coming from the emergency room with an open ankle fracture. Airway management can be challenging, but when it is unexpected, quick thinking and proper techniques are critical. Let's walk through this case. Before we dive in, a quick reminder. NYSORA's new anesthesia manual for 2025, which includes comprehensive difficult airway protocols, is now available on Amazon.com. It is an essential resource for anesthesia professionals facing complex situations. For more details, visit the product page at NYSORA.com. Our patient today is arriving from the emergency room with an open ankle fracture. Time is of the essence and there are multiple concerns we must address, including the possibility of a full stomach and the risk of aspiration. Rapid sequence intubation or modified rapid sequence intubation will be necessary here to protect the airway while minimizing gastric content aspiration. So oftentimes the oxygen is given like this, however, this does not provide 100% oxygen. 100% oxygen only comes when you actually have 100% face mask fit, so that everything the patient inhales is 100% oxygen. Otherwise, the patient's entrained air, which reduces the, the oxygen. First, we need to ensure optimal pre-oxygenation before intubation. Many practitioners think that applying oxygen through a mask automatically provides 100% oxygen, but this is only true if you apply a tight face mask fit. Any leak around the mask introduces room air, reducing the oxygen concentration that the patient receives. So make sure you have a proper mask seal to provide the highest oxygen concentration, especially in emergency situations like this. Here we have the orbital fracture, as you can see, as well as the maxillar fracture. So we're going to take all the precautions for full stomach due to the uh, blood swallowing. Let's move into the induction phase. We start with 200 milligrams of IV propofol, immediately followed by muscle relaxant to ensure a smooth and quick intubation. Given the risk of aspiration, we perform a modified rapid sequence intubation. This minimizes the time the airway is unprotected, which is key in patients with a full stomach. Remember, we want to move okay. fast, but okay. not okay. rush. Okay. Timing is everything. Okay, so we're going to start with induction. 200 milligrams of propofol immediately followed by muscle relaxant for a modified rapid sickness intubation for gastric content aspiration protection. And we go. You want this to go in as soon as possible, as fast as possible. And we're going to flush that with rocuronium. Don't wait. Okay. As soon as that goes in, we want to use a slight crack with pressure and probably an oral airway if necessary if the ventilation proves to be difficult. As the induction progresses, we begin to notice a challenge. Despite our preparation, ventilation becomes difficult. The patient's oxygen saturation drops to 99% from 100% then 98%, and this is when critical thinking must come into play. For students of anesthesiology, in difficult airway situations, don't panic. Start with applying slight cricoid pressure to help with visualization of the larynx during laryngoscopy and consider inserting an airway adjunct if necessary. I started timing. So. What is the time? 45 seconds. 45 no, seconds. 54. 55. One minute. One minute. Here we go. The O2 sat now is wrapped into 99. Let's take a very gentle look here. <coughs> okay. okay, so that's Cormac 3. Can you see? No. Nope. Can you take a video? Take a so. video. Yeah. Saturation is 98. 
after a brief struggle with direct laryngoscopy, we switched immediately to video laryngoscopy, a great tool when faced with an unexpected or expected difficult airway. With this, we are able to successfully intubate the patient. Video laryngoscopy provides enhanced visualization, especially in challenging anatomical situations. Always be prepared to switch techniques. Tools like video laryngoscopy can be life-saving in cases where traditional methods fall short. It's a different story now. Feel it? Yeah. Okay, let's ventilate him. Okay, ventilation starts. We're 91 now. As soon as you start ventilating, Clearly the O2 sat goes up, and that's what's called hyperventilation hypoxia, which is the fastest hypoxia to fix. There you go. With the airway secured, the next critical step is to manage ventilation. Start with low tidal volumes around 6 to 8 milligrams per kilogram of ideal body weight. This avoids overinflating the lungs, especially when managing patients with potential chest trauma. Okay, nicely done, team. Nicely done, everyone. Good job. I'm gonna put him on a ventilator now. Okay. What are the ventilation settings you're gonna use? Uh, let's start with low flow to wash in, not too high in the sebo. Okay. Um, let's give him about eight mLs per ideal body weight, which is about. This should be. Okay. Fine to start. Eight mLs? Eight mLs per, per kilo ideal body weight. Keep an eye on oxygenation level and CO2 levels as you titrate your settings. Gentle ventilation is the key to avoiding additional complications like barotrauma due to the mechanical ventilation. Once the patient is stabilized, we continue to monitor ventilation and oxygenation. Thanks to early recognition of the difficult airway, quick adjustments and the use of video laryngoscopy, we were able to avoid a more serious situation. Managing an unexpected difficult airway can be stressful, especially in emergency settings. However, with the right tools, techniques and a calm methodological approach, you can successfully navigate these challenging situations. We hope that this video has provided valuable insights into how to manage an unexpectedly difficult airway in trauma cases like this. Before we wrap up, don't forget to check out Nysora's new anesthesia manual on Amazon.com. Be sure to subscribe to Nysora's YouTube channel for more videos like this. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and don't forget to engage with the community on our page. We love hearing about your experiences and the feedback on our videos. Until next time.